Hello, I'm Dean Karstens, and this is Dean's N-Scale Trains. Today I'm going to be talking about a problem that we all have now and then. What do you do about bad track? How do you go about fixing that? Anyway, for those of you who've been following me for the last year or so, know that I've been building the Scenic Ridge Railroad from a kit that Woodman Scenics put out. After it was all pretty much completed, I found a couple of bad track places where the track uh, changed elevation so fast it was causing trouble. So today I'm going to talk about how I fixed that. With the Woodland Scenic system for building layouts, the track is held on 2 inch by 2 inch blocks. And the risers are just basic triangles. So there are very abrupt changes on going from the flat to a riser back to a flat at locations A and B respectively. And these are not as smooth as they could be. The top diagram illustrates the problem. If you have two sections meeting at that transition, it's very abrupt. There's two solutions. The first one is to put a track centered over the transition. Then you have two smaller transition transitional changes. The best way is to take a piece of flex, flex track and bridge the transition smoothly. So what we had here was a very abrupt change and going from a flat to a zero to a four percent grade going up here. First I hacked away the foam roadbed below the track and the uh, road, the concrete road that abutted the track. Rather than using flex track, I soldered together the rail joiners for a group of sections put together in the original configuration. Then I glued those to the uh, rubber roadbed. And now I'll put it back together and see how it looks. The next thing to do is to repair the road. So I built up some forms from wood sticks, covered those with blue tape for protection. So I've poured the uh, smooth it here, pulled away the supports, and filled in lower areas with more smooth it. This is a handy tool that I made. It's a knife that's been uh, filed down to a chisel point, and I use this to uh, sculpt the, the uh, plaster. So here's the corner of the railroad after everything has been cleaned up with the uh, track repair. With the next series of clips, I'm going to talk about how I fixed the top of this grade. There's a transition going from the 4% to the level at the top of the grade as well as at the bottom. This is the old uh, track and bridge in place. To do this, I had to rip out everything, the, uh, the bridges and the track. I left the old track in place long enough to uh, replace the left abutment and then glue the uh, U pieces up against to where, where, where the track will be. I did the same thing on the other side, placing the uh, abutment up against the uh, U-shaped support pieces and gluing them together. Notice that I'll have to fill in between the abutment and the, uh, the rest of the um, scenery. I then shaped the flex track, glued it to the foam roadbed, and put it in place. Note that I used these pins to hold it in the right uh, elevations to make a nice smooth curve across the uh, transition. 
At this point, I glued, I put in ballast and glued it down and allowed it to dry. This held the uh, track in the right position and it didn't move after that. Then I added the end pieces on the bridge and glued them to the uh, U-shape uh, uh, support pieces, holding them however I could. Next, I put down some blue tape to protect the road and the bridges from the, the paint and the plaster. Here I'm cleaning up the dried plaster with a shaped chisel point on the end of an old knife blade. At this point, everything is ready for the uh, final scenicking. These are the ground covers that I use to uh, scenic my Western Railroad. Uh, fine turf earth, I use just a little bit of that. Fine turf yellow grass, I use a lot of that. And then the light green fine turf, just a few sprinkles. I use very, very little of the uh, dark green uh, fine turf, except around uh, waterways. So I start by brushing on this earth undercoat, which is a relatively dark brown. You could use any sort of brown paint. And cover it with this light yellow uh, ground cover. I mostly use that. Followed by a very little dark and a little bit of green. More green where you would expect some water to collect in the low spots. To cover up gaping holes and things that don't look very good, you can always throw in some clump foliage. And with that down good with uh, scenic cement or diluted white glue. People just have to touch the scenery and they really like to touch these things. So I soak them very well a couple of times to make sure they're nice and hard. So peel this back, see where we're, how we're doing. Not too bad. I'll let this dry a little bit more before I pull up all the tape. And then metal railroads are never finished, but this is pretty close. I've cleaned up the ballast. I've uh, taken off the stains from the abutments painted some of the black. I need to touch up the black, but other than that, it's looking pretty good. And then we'll have to touch up some of these interfaces. <laughs> 